Hi everyone, it's Don from Don's Family Vacation and today we're going to talk about things that you can do in Cozumel. Uh, whether you're visiting the city or you're on a cruise and your port stop is there and we're not talking about the normal things. We know everyone can just sit on the beach and things like that. We're going to talk about some things that are a little more adventurous if you're looking to really experience Cozumel and have an adventure of probably a lifetime. So we're going to talk about that coming up right after this. Number one, the first thing you might want to do in Cozumel, if you have the chance, is go snorkeling or better yet, diving. I know it can be scary for some people, but it is some of the best diving sites in the wall. We're talking about the Santa Rosa Wall, uh, Columbus Reef. There's seven or eight reefs that are just absolutely gorgeous. And the seeing down by the reefs and all the aquatic life around you, it can be a dream diving experience. So if you're up to it, the first thing I would say is let's go diving or snorkeling in Cozumel. Number two, you say, oh, I go diving and snorkeling all the time. I'm, I'm pretty adventurous. Well, number two could be let's go diving with the sharks. There's certain areas in Cozumel that have a high frequency of sharks in the area. And they're not little baby sharks. Yes, you were. If you're afraid of sharks, they're going to be out there. And uh, thank God. The movie Jaws is many, many years in our past because I remember when that came out, I wouldn't go near the ocean for about two years when I was a kid. But it can be a thrill uh, to get up close to these creatures. They're marvelous. They're really not aggressive at all. Uh, they're looking for like blood in the water to feed. They don't usually attack live animals. They're looking for sick animals and things like that. So that's why most people are safe and there's very few shark attacks considering how many people are in the water every year around the ocean so keep that in mind it's a thrill you're going to be a little nervous but you're going to be pumped when you come out of it so if you're very adventurous shark diving in Cozumel number three if you really like to go see the sea life but you you can't for some reason go diving or shark diving I would suggest taking the Atlantis submarine tour it's basically going to get you up close and personal and that with the aquatic life. It's beautiful, but you're in a submarine and you're around other people. So you feel a lot safer than if you were out in the middle of the ocean in a diving suit around sharks. So it's a great way to see the sea life. If your mobility is uh, hampered or you're elderly and you're just can't get out there and breathe properly in the uh, diving gear. So, the Atlantis Submarine Adventure is great alternative and it's quite thrilling. It kind of reminds me of Walt Disney's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride that used to exist that I used to love as a kid. Number four is just all out fun. A dune buggy tour around Cozumel and the beaches and everything where you get to drive your own dune buggy around as a couple or a group of four. and. Uh, there's no windows on them, they're open air, they're kind of like a mini Jeep, and they look like a Volkswagen bug, and they're so fun to drive, and everyone usually has a great time out there. Just make sure you have good weather when you're going, because like I said, they're open air, but they're so fun to drive, and you get to see some great beaches and great sights around Cozumel. Number five, looking for some fun around the beaches and shorelines and that? Well then go to the Playa Maya Grand Beach and Water Park area. You can get a day pass, you can get a two day pass if you want it, but there's all kinds of fun things to do, especially if you have young kids or, and that you can relax on the beach and you can watch them play around in the ocean on all the slides and the jumps that they have there. You can rent all kinds of water sport vehicles, you can take a private cabana drive out into the ocean, you can go snorkeling, you can shop, you, there's good dining there. It's just a great day to spend a relaxing day with a family in Cozumel where you don't have to travel too far to get there. In fact, from the cruise port, you could even take a private catamaran to the resort 
Uh, so you never actually have to jump on a bus or anything like that, and that can be a thrill in itself. So think about the, the uh, water park if you have a family when you're in Cozumel. Number six, if you've never been to Cozumel before, I highly recommend there's a bus tour out there called the Five Hour Cozumel Tour. And they take you to some great sites. They'll talk about the culture, they'll talk about the history of the town, you'll get some great photography opportunities, and you learn about Cozumel and all the history involved and how it became one of the biggest cruise destinations in the world. So if you've never ever been, it's a great way to introduce yourself to the city. Being an outdoor guy and a nature guy myself, the next one is an ATV tour to get to the Jade Cavern. So it's a combination of two things that I love to do. So you get to ride these ATVs off-road, not terribly off-road, you're not trampling through the woods. There's a bit of a dirt road there, but they're so fun to drive and I love getting out there and then you're out at the caverns themselves and you get to jump in the water and it's warm and beautiful and it's a great area. It's a fun day to spend out there. It's a great day as a couple and uh, just to make sure that you're okay with driving those ATVs because they can go fast and they can get out of control very easy. So if you're used to those kind of things, I highly recommend the ATV tour over to the Jade Caverns. Number eight, another great thing to do whether you're a single traveler, uh, couples or family, uh, if you're into animals and nature and things like that, that's all around Cozumel, I highly recommend the Dolphin Discovery. This isn't one of those little tiny habitats that you see at zoos or aquariums or anything like that. This is a huge expansive area for these animals. They're not, you know, they have, I think it's like 17 football fields worth of area right in the ocean that are for these animals and these animals when they see the people come they rush over them not because they're trained because dolphins are highly intelligent animals and they're fun loving and playful and they just love to play and interact with everybody as long as there's no danger in the area those animals are some of the most fun loving animals in the wild in captivity it doesn't matter it's a great way to introduce your kids to nature and these animals, they're beautiful and they're not mistreated in any way and they love to interact with people. So I highly recommend Discovery Dolphin in Cozumel. Number nine, if you're a foodie like me, I highly recommend Cozumel cooking classes where they're gonna teach you authentic Mexican cuisine. You're gonna eat and taste some foods you've never tasted before. I have pretty much guarantee unless you've taken these classes before. I couldn't pronounce half of them, but some of them were so good that I now look for them in my specialty markets back here in Canada. And I try to make them as much as I possibly can. And I've taken a few classes down there. Uh, like I said, I'm a bit of a foodie. I like cooking these foods and trying foods from all over the world. So if you're into that kind of stuff, a cooking class in Cozumel is fantastic and mwah, you're gonna love the food. And lastly, you have that big expensive camera and you love to take photographs of everywhere you go on vacation. Well, they actually have Cozumel photography tours specially designed to bring you to special locations where you're gonna get some fantastic shots of nature, fantastic shots of the city, fantastic shots of the coastline. You're going to enjoy the photography tour because they know their city better than we know their city. And they're gonna take you to spots that you're gonna get absolutely gorgeous photos from. And it's a photographer's dream come true. So if you're into photography and you wanna get those, even if you're not, even if you have a point and shoot camera, you're gonna get better photos on that tour than you're gonna get anywhere else when you're traveling around Cozumel. So there you have 10 really fun things to do in Cozumel because a lot of people think Cozumel is a boring city. It's a tourist trap. There's tons of shops along the ports that are designed to try and just, here's t-shirts and half the t-shirts are made in China. So these are things that are taking you out into the city, into the culture, into the people, into the nature of Cozumel. 
Cozumel is not a boring city if you know where to look. So I hope you like this video. I hope you'll take a chance when you're in Cozumel to do some of these things. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips and travel uh, videos from around the world, please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what kind of videos and destinations you'd like me to talk about because I've been almost everywhere and I'm trying to tick off the entire world on my bucket list before, uh, you know, before the bucket list is no longer relevant. So until next time, you guys have yourself a great vacation.